This is Brian. Sarah. And we are actually in Chattanooga at the Edwin Hotel. And stick around with us and we are going to give you a tour of the room and some of the grounds. This looks like a pretty cool hotel. A little, looks new. A little new and funky and boutique-y. So come with us and we will check it out. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. This is Khaki Shorts where we cover travel, food, and just utter nonsense. The Edwin Hotel is located on the south side of the Tennessee River in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Close by is the Hunter Museum of American Art. Most of the major downtown sites are within walking distance including the Tennessee Aquarium and Market Street. The hotel also sits at the entrance to the Walnut Street Pedestrian Bridge which will take you across the river to the area around Coolidge and Renaissance Parks. This hotel was built in 2018 and definitely has a funky offbeat vibe. Through the front doors, the check-in desk is straight ahead. To the right is a large seating area with a fireplace. To the left is Provisions, the hotel's convenience store and counter service coffee shop. Around the corner is Whitebird, the hotel's restaurant. Everywhere you look, you see funky art. Even the elevators get in on the act. On the fifth floor, there's the gym, pool, convention rooms, and Whiskey Thief, their rooftop bar. This is a great place to take in a view of the city and river, get a beverage, and order some small plates of food. On the same floor is another seating area with a fireplace. Since we went in December, there were lots of Christmas trees and decorations. Our room was on the second floor. Let's take a tour. So this is our room at the Edwin. We're gonna show you the beds first. You come in, on the left there is the coffee maker and some complimentary water. I guess it's complimentary, hope so, we'll see. And they actually down here have the fridge, which is like a little small mini fridge. Yeah, there's nothing in there, but if you want to put some water in there or some drinks if you got, any yeah, of that good stuff. I actually like that they have about two or three of these so that you can put your luggage on them so they're not on the floor and they're not on your bed. There's a long sitting table with a couple of good chairs underneath here. Your ice bucket, some weird, almost looks like a chess piece. This lamp. And then the beds. We wanted a king size, but they only had two queens. So we got the two queens. We'll probably just sleep in one bed though. The big velour quilted oh, headboards. I forgot what those were called for a second. Headboards. Yeah, everything is uh, wooden floors and they have like this big rug here between the two beds. And then you have your nightstand in the middle with plenty of plugs, looks like, your remotes, the phone, and an alarm clock. They also have some of this weird artwork on the wall, and there's a QR code next to it so that you can actually scan that and see who the artist is and if you want to buy any of their stuff. Pretty good size room. Uh, not bad, it's a little tight around the beds. A little bit, not terrible. I've seen, you know, a lot worse. Uh, it actually has central air, so they have a good, uh, what do you call that? Thermostat. <laughs> Forgot the word for it. Have a good, <laughs> yeah, the doohickey, think of Bob. They have a good uh, thermostat on the wall for changing the temperature. Sarah so really like these. They have the big barn doors that actually goes to the bathroom, so you can close that for the bathroom. That's a big door. And it has a huge mirror, as you can probably see. This thing's monstrous. There's Sarah over there hiding in the corner. Say hi, Sarah. Uh, she's hiding some more. So they have some space here for hanging up. They got plenty of hangers for hanging up coats. There's also some space downstairs for the storage for stuff that you might bring with you. There's an extra pillow upstairs. And then inside here, they actually have an extra like throw blanket, a iron and ironing board. 
They have an electronic safe and then another one of those, what do you call those things? Luggage? A luggage rack. Rack. Yeah, for hanging your little luggage, you're putting your luggage on so they're not sitting on the bed. Bad idea. So the door, of course your emergency evacuation plan. Uh, and if you need to put out the do not disturb sign, it's talent at rest. <laughs> I'm not sure that I would call myself talent, but. So the bathroom is pretty large. We'll go into the right. They have some weird artwork on the wall. I guess they put a butterfly on there so she's not staring at you while you're showering. And then normal toilet, double toilet paper rolls. In case you, I guess, have some real trouble in the bathroom. I don't know, or you run out of one. Uh, they actually give you two robes. Cannot take you with them, but uh, cannot take them with you, but you can hang out you know, in your robes. So sink, uh, just a single sink. Nice soap. I, I like that they have the tissue paper on the top instead of like the ones that pull out from the front. Big mirror, lots of light. And then underneath, there's a big makeup mirror. There is a hair dryer under here. Plenty of towels as well as a makeup towel. So if you do your makeup, you have a dark towel so it doesn't stain the white ones. They have their little uh, toiletries. What's in this thing? Let's see. Yeah, it was a makeup remover. I thought there were gonna be Q-tips or something in there. Nope. Really nice shower. Mm. Well, look at the shower. This thing is. Uh, I'm take that out there. And sliding door. Let's slide this open here. So, oh, it's like a, a rain shower. Look at that. With a handheld. A rain shower with a handheld. And you have more shampoo and conditioner all in there. It's nicely tiled. And then your control is over here. So we will see how the beds sleep tonight. Uh, hopefully pretty well. Plenty of pillows. I think got some pillows. So if you want to sit and just kick back with the TV. TV is huge. This thing's like a 50 inch TV probably. So we'll see how this thing is. We may turn it on later. And I'll give you a look at the view outside. We don't have the greatest view. Uh, this is like a side street. We're in room 228. Yeah, we're in room 228. And across the street is the Hunter Museum of American Art. There's some type of building up there that's like Georgian columns. Not sure what that is. There's actually a walkway from here that goes across to the museum. And kind of goes up the street and we can just see the uh, parking garage. Uh, I don't think they have self-park here. There's only valet parking, which is $24 a night. So we valet parked and they have an app where you can click on that and it'll bring your car around and you just pay at the desk. So that is the view from our room and of our room. And we are going to go check out the rest of the hotel and see what we think of it. We enjoyed this funky hotel. The staff was very helpful and polite. The location is ideal for walking around town and the views from the upper floors are incredible. This was our first time here, but whenever we head back to Chattanooga, I'm sure the Edwin will be on our short list of places to stay. Thanks for coming with us. Hope this gave you a good idea what the Edwin is like. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos about travel, food, and just utter nonsense.